Hi guys, today we're back with another interview here at Bespoke Funding Programme. Today I've got one of our newly funded traders, Anwar. He's taking the pleasure to speak with us today and he's going to give us a bit of a background about what it takes to be a funded trader and his journey here at Bespoke. So over to you, Anwar, would you like to introduce yourself to the viewers? Hey, good day. My name is Anwar Awal Sharif, uh, also known as Anwar MS at Twitter. I'm so glad to be at this podcast because I have a lot of things to say regarding to trading and baseball funding in particular. And I'm looking forward to the questions that you may ask. Let's go ahead. Amazing. Well, Anwar, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here today. And I'm sure the guys back at home are very excited to hear what you have to say. So, uh, thank you so much. A bit about you. What's your story? How did you get into trading? Well, I joined trading since 2018, 2019, immediately after my secondary school graduation. I guess I was convinced by one of my friends called Zayad, currently studying in Turkey here. So he started telling me about Forex trading and how it is. Then all of a sudden, I just fell in love with it. Then mm -hmm. I just decided to make some research and other things like that so that I can be among the traders. So as time goes on, I started researching, searching of trading, how it is, and so on. Then all of a sudden, I found one academy in our state. So I joined it, started with support and resistance, gradually, gradually, since 2019 up to 2023, I'm trading support and resistance. But by then, I'm not, I'm not profitable. Yeah, I'm not profitable. Since 2023, then things start changing. So you've been going for quite a while then and obviously you mentioned you went to this academy. Was that in person or was that, you know, an online academy or did you meet with No, people? in person and online because I know the person face to face physically. Mm. So we do both physically and online. Yes. Got you, got you. So yes. you were studying support and resistance and you mentioned Yes, you support and resistance. That was chat pattern, support and resistance, all those, you know. Yeah. Uh, trend line, <laughs> breakout, fake out. <laughs> all I think you all started though at the, the yeah. so I think everyone back at home can probably relate. That is normally the starting journey. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And if I can remember before I before I started everything, he assigned me to go and study baby pips. Really? Yeah, baby pips. Yes, to graduate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so many times, it's ridiculous. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Like we're all living the same day that we've all gone through this exact same journey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll touch a bit on what you said about profitability and yes. you weren't quite yet profitable following support and resistance. That does lead me on to my next question. So how long did it take you to become a consistently profitable trader? And what was the turning point? I feel like it might have been a change in strategy. You tell me. Yeah, my turning point is around 2023 December after I joined ICT Academy because currently I'm currently trading with ICT system. Mm. That's ICT Inner Cycle Traders Method. So I joined the Academy 2023, June, July. Then I joined the mentorship for three months. After three months, then I start trading programs. I joined June, July, June, July, August. Around September, October, I've started seeing some changes. Winning, you know, I'm so happy by then. That was December, I got my first payout ever. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm so happy with that for it. Yes, 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 yes. Do you know what? It's weird, isn't it? Because you can have such a long journey in trading and it can just feel brutal and like... Yes, you know that if it yeah. was some people, they would give up. Because you joined since 2018, you are not seeing any changes. So a lot of us will give up. But yeah. because I know by God's grace, I will succeed. And I didn't give up. I keep moving, keep moving, studying hard and hard and hard. And now already I'm okay. I can call myself a profitable trader because I have a lot of payouts, a lot of funded challenges, all. Mate, and did you find that hard to not get ahead of yourself when you had that period when you started winning? Because I can imagine the euphoria and the excitement started to set yes. in. How did you cope with that? Because a lot of traders lose their head when they start to become profitable because they get so ahead of themselves and excited. How did you deal with that scenario and not get ahead of yourself? Well, I think if someone can get ahead of himself, then he's not willing to be a profitable trader consistently. In anything, you have to be consistent. So once you get your first payout, then you need to think first, what makes you reach this stage? 
you will know that you follow all your steps all your you know strategies and everything quite quite uh, like correctly mm. as long as you stick to that i think there is no way you can go ahead of yourself you just need to calm yourself you know that this trading will pay you after getting your first payout then you should not hesitate you should stay focused yes do everything correctly like you are doing before as long as you start thinking ahead then definitely you will miss a lot for real for real getting ahead of yourself is the worst yes, yes, yes. Start thinking about what can be what could be you start pre-planning what you're paying your spending your payouts on i can imagine so yes yes yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, that, that's right well you mentioned you had your first payout in that december time that yes year. december How that means that? i become profitable after six months of joining the academy in six months time i become profitable trader how did it feel getting your first payout so happy i'm so happy so happy yeah because by then if i can remember i spend a lot on my family just to make them happy so that they know that i'm succeeding you know because when we start trading a lot of people are calling us that we are just doing scam things like it's not real you know mm-hmm. all those kind of things yes 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 i know how that feels when you get your first payout and everyone's told you and advised you against trading for so long and to be able to be like not only not in a mean way i told you so but able to do something lovely for your family it's quite shocking isn't it because they didn't think all this time that anything of course, of course, so many of course, years of course. yeah so, oh, that's i bet your family was so yeah, excited sure, sure, sure. um definitely they are very very excited yes <laughs> yeah um out of all of the strategies out there you mentioned ict is the one that you've obviously had a mentorship in which I'll come to slightly in a moment. What made you choose ICT over things like you've got, you know, you've got SMC, you've got so many different strategies out there. What mm. was it about ICT that you decided was right for you? No, I saw one of my friends succeed in ICD, ICT, then I just decided to join. Before I wanted to join SMC, mm. but just changed my mind to ICT. Yeah, you know, you know, a lot of us have their own choice. So my own choice is to do ICT. That's all. That's it. They say a lot of strategies. In terms of strategies, a strategy can work for anyone. It's the yes, trader it that doesn't work. Yes, so yes. It's a trader that 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 need to focus, focus mm. only. Yeah. If you focus on any strategy, you can be successful. Definitely. Hundred percent. And yeah. in terms of prop firms, so I know you since your mentoring, you've gone into the world of prop firms. You mentioned that's that's when you started looking into this avenue. There is a lot of prop firms out there right now. They are saturating the market. What made you choose? Uh, what made you choose bespoke funding program? What was it about us? Yeah, I have a lot of things. Like I can say, I'm your affiliate partner in particular. So that's one of the main point. And secondly. I saw that you have best book in Nigeria. I have a lot of payouts you're going to pay me because I see you pay a lot of my friends so that mm-hmm. make me happy and you know so come to trade with you. And so happily everything went smoothly. Yes, I'm everything happy. went smoothly 100%. I think that's one of the biggest factors you can rely on when being recommended any product in this world is has someone you know used it and did yes, it work I know. for them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is anything you buy in this? World. I have like two friends. The first one got like thirty payouts with you guys. The second one got one payout. Yeah, I'm so happy. And That's we are very close to them. I know them face to face, so they can't hide. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they got payouts. Yes, they will. They know they get. They know where they live if they're telling you porky pies. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, it. That's it. So, Amma, but something I'm really interested to hear you say, and something I believe really strongly in with trading, is mentorship, and it's something that a lot of people don't want to spend the money on. But it sounds like mentorship was the turning point for you. How did that help you and differ from when you were doing your previous program? How did the mentorship over the six months with ICT change things for you? Well, the main thing that you know, like my mentor, he's been so hardworking for it. When I joined his academy, he asked me, "What's the reason of me joining?" Then I told him, "I'm the eldest son in the house, so I need to find something that I will be, you know, helping the family in one way or the other." So me saying that to him was he was so happy, and he said, "Definitely, definitely, you will teach me very well so that I can be successful." So he gave me. I actually do one-on-one mentorship. He gave me smoothly, very, very nice. I'm so happy with him. He mentored me very, very, very well. Uh, 
So that's yes. the main reason why I'm being profitable now. Yeah. Yes. Hundred yes. percent. And having that one on one, and I think like you said, it's about picking the right person. It's like you said, yes, picking the right person. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. that's good to hear. So, do you still do you still seek mentorship now, or are you fully solo moved on from that program? No, no, I'm, I'm okay. I don't need any mentorship. Probably, I'll start mentoring some of my sisters and brothers only. Oh, I don't think I will open an academy, but I will mentor my sisters and brothers. So they can learn and trade with Facebook as well. For you, Anwar, in terms of um, trading, we all know trading is difficult. We all know sometimes it makes you want to cry. It makes you want to sit in a hole. And sometimes it can be the best thing ever. But it is a hard game. What was the biggest challenge or biggest bad habit you had to face whilst trading what was the toughest part of your journey oh yeah revenge trading revenge revenge trading yes revenge that really killed me yeah bad. <laughs> because i lost a lot of my funded because of that you know sometimes you do your you like you do everything correctly frame your setup find setup find entry but at last you stop you you got stop out so that thing will touch me then i will enter again revenge mm. trading yeah yeah it killed me so hard. But apart from revenge trading, I guess none. None. Revenge trading, I think that's one most people suffer with because it's almost like sometimes when you put all this hard work into learning a strategy. Most especially because me, I'm trading London model. So sometimes I wake up early in the morning, find the setup and end up hitting SL. That didn't touch me. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's actual ego. Yeah, it touched me. Like, it touched how me. dare you? How dare yeah. you? Me after all my hard work. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Without <laughs> sleeping, without anything, and end up with SL. That's very bad. Yeah, I'm glad. How did you get over the revenge trading? Was that through the mentorship? Did that? What stopped it? Yes, sometimes I seek for advice from the mentor. So yeah. he will tell me that I should just calm down. SL is part of the game. Yeah. SL is part of the game. So if I hit SL, I shouldn't worry. Mm. I should just stick to my plan, everything correctly. How did you cope when you, because naturally we all have it, but did you ever have situations where you had four or five losses in a row? How did you cope then? Because that is a testing scenario for any. Yes, because actually I do risk 1% at trade. So if I had like three to four losing streaks, then I will reduce my risk to 0.5% per trade. Good. Yes. Because if to say I will use 1%, if I got at lose, the account is gone. Yeah. So if I do like four to five lose, the remaining three, then I will divide it into 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I have six remaining three, do you get? Yeah. So I'm sure within that six, I can recover. Yeah, I can recover. I yes. think that's a really good point for people taking their challenges back home to, to know because there's no point taking those extra ones it, it plays with your head and if you reduce that risk like you said you're giving yourself double the chance yes 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 yes, yes. instead of keep instead of keep your risk in the one percent so reduce it to 0 0.5 then mm. you are good to go yeah 100 percent. yes and then always you know always have a realistic target like yeah. once you enter this trade you are just targeting three r five r if you have that specific rr then you are going to win a lot yeah like me, all, all my trades are 3R. I target 3 to 4R only. Yeah. If they hit 3R, I will close the trade early. I'm okay with that till next day. I think that's a good way to have it though, because it, it's a bit harder when you're talking about one to ones and one to twos. One to yes, three yes, to yes. a bit more breathing room, should you have a couple of losses as well. But that's yeah, first. sticking to your plan and doing the same thing over and over. Um, and what, did you ever trade your own capital or has it always been prop firm capital you've traded? And well, since before I joined ICT, I trade my personal account, but after I joined, I only trade pro firms. What's the difference for you? How did you find it emotionally trading your money versus prop firm money? Pro firm is much better because you have a lot of capitals, like you see that the money is much. Mm. So, you know, though they are not yours, but at least you have, you will be calm, you know, to take the trade accordingly. But on personal account, if you don't have much capital or you don't have much you know, equity, then it mm. should be so easily for you to blow the account. Yeah, 100%. Yes, you yes, can't yes. losing your own money, doesn't and it? And you know a lot of programs have their rules. So, like, that rules won't make you blow the account so easily. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you have a lot more risk management being with a program. Yes, yes, risk management and so on. 
Yeah, so you won't lose the account instantly. But on personal accounts, you don't have any rule. You are trading on your own. You can trade anytime, you know. Yeah. So that thing will make you lose the account so easily. 100%, 100%. Of course, of course. And, and well, up until this point, I know you mentioned, obviously, you chose us because you'd had recommendations and you knew people face to face who had been paid out by Bespoke on a number of occasions. Yeah. What has been your favourite part of being with Bespoke so far? What have you liked best? Well, for me, I can say the past payouts. Last, I got my payout within three minimum trading days. Good. So that thing is so cool. And this, their support also as well. Your, your, is it head of moderator? He's doing well. Good. Uh, yes, head of moderator. <laughs> we doing well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's replying so easily, so fastly, you know, and so fluently without any bad comment and so on. He's very nice. I think it is important to be able to speak to a good support with any business, isn't it? Because you need your problems yes. dealt with when you need them dealt with. And I know we've spoken a bit about a lot of things here. You're leading me on to my last few questions for you, Anwar. It's been an absolute pleasure having you today. Okay. And um, a few things to leave our viewers with a thought of. So why do you think so many traders fail in today's day and age? What is it? So many traders, why they fail? Well, I have a lot, but probably I have listed like two to three. Mm. Like lack of patience, lead to people to fail, lack of specific strategy. You know, there will be a lot of traders outside that he know how to trade SMC, ICT, support and resistance. And he's not being so consistent with one strategy. At least if you learn a lot of strategies, then try as much as you can to stick with one. If you stick with that one, then you are good to go. You win a lot. But you've been, you know, jumping from one place to another, jumping from ICT to SMC, from SMC to BTMM, you know, then there will be a lot of things on your head. Then you are likely to lose so easily, you know. But you if you are, yes, if you are being so, so, so consistent with one strategy, definitely you will win. 100%. Yes. I think that's like people are quick to when one thing goes wrong blame the strategy. yes 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 you know that some people if they join ICT in two months three months without seeing any good results then they will just decide to change to another strategy that's very bad mm, 100%. Yes. because you know a lot of people have their own brand me i can be consistent and i can be profitable in six months well someone must reach one year to you you know yes so you need to be consistent calm yourself focus you know stick to our strategy only is good 100 do you think that's though mainly due to how much noise there is on social media of different strategies people's advice or social think... media kill a lot also i agree with you social media kill a lot because sometimes you will join like let me you said x you join x while you are buying this pair someone is selling then that one will surely discourage you yeah probably i'm at the wrong side then let me close my bag and follow this head later on you chop sl that's very bad yeah social media you. kills a lot yes 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 how do you combat that do you just follow not many people trading related online or how do you avoid getting caught in that that noise all the people i'm following on my ex they are my friends so <laughs> they won't you know that <laughs> thing won't affect me i'm not yeah. following anybody outside you know i just yeah. want to follow those people that i know and nobody is going to change my mind. If I decided to buy, I will buy. Nobody. Love <laughs> yes. That. Yes, yes. Love it. Love it. Yes. Um, my last question I'm going to leave you with, and for our viewers back at home, fairly mm. similar, a little bit different. If you could give one piece of advice to any trader who's in their first year of trading, what would it be? Well, they should trade with Best Park. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. my advice. <laughs> Oh, it's like we paid you, isn't it? So, no, 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 no. The bribes, the bribes. No, I'm joking. No, that's not your bribe, but like, that's my advice for them, yes. I love that. I love that. Amazing. Yes, yes. You know, because there are a lot of traders outside saying that you guys are scammers, but me, I've tested and 100% honest you know, scam. I'm really happy. Like, it was so pleasure. Yeah, Do you yeah. think that's one of the things maybe to look out for? Because I've always based my prop firm experience on interviews because if you've got an interview you've got someone in real life who has you know traded with this prop firm that's how i've based mine or like you said word of mouth from friends and mm. that is the best way to pick who you, who you know you're trading your yes. prop with. 
Yes, 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 yes. Oh, well, Amma, you've been an absolute pleasure to speak with today. I'm sure the people at home have really enjoyed this, had a good laugh and taken some really good points from, you know, your journey. Incredible to see the kind of power in your mind that you have and how well you've stuck to the ICT. You know, you've benefited so massively from a mentor. And of course, you've come to a prop firm and had payouts. And it's just, it's brilliant to hear in a world where a lot of people are failing with trading often that there is yeah. a way to pick the right one basically. That's, I'm so glad I'm so glad to talk with you also. So nice. Oh thank you Anwar. Well again to our viewers at home, I hope you enjoyed today's episode with Anwar. I've taken a lot home from this and I hope you do too. Of course guys don't forget to leave comments below on any questions you want me to ask the next traders and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time. <laughs>